Well, guys, it wasn't pretty, but it's a win. And now, hopefully, we build this momentum when we head out to Denver and the Pepsi Center out to Colorado. Boy, that was probably one of the most crazy games there I've seen in a while. I haven't seen a real nail-biting victory in, in quite a long time. Now, if you're wondering why, why I'm wearing this hat, you know, it's, it's April 16th, and, uh, you know, Virginia Tech had its tragedy three years ago, so usually I always remember that. You know, see, I'm wearing a shirt for them, uh, only for this day, only in this week, so if you're wondering why I'm wearing it, it's for, uh, it's for all the fallen Hokies out there. Very, uh, sad day for them. But anyways, back to the Sharks. Great, great win. Oh, I, I really can't believe, uh, how that ended. Devin Setaguchi in the clutch, and Joe Pavelski. That, probably right now that's the goal of the season for the Sharks right now. I know a lot of you guys, a lot of these Sharks have the doubt right now, but you know what? We got the win. We didn't go down 2 nothing like, like last year. Maybe this team has sparked up again. With that, They didn't lead at all this game until the final gun. Now, now it's a series. You know, home ice advantage does not mean anything in the NHL. I mean, we've seen Chicago lose to Nashville today. Uh, you know, pitch, every game series is split, with the exception of, of course, the uh, Nashville-Chicago. But every team has won on the road now in, in the uh, series. Uh, pretty much except Buffalo and Boston, but the home ice advantage doesn't mean a thing. Chris Stewart really burned us this year uh, for most of this series. He's been kicking us. Uh, a lot of fluke goals were let in by Nabokov. Uh, very poor defense. Uh, I'm, I'm really going to be critical on our defensive men. Maybe this is why I was mad at the deadline, how we didn't get someone. Our defense found ways to slab up. You know, it's like one mistake can allow a goal. Simple as that. Just, just like when you play man defense in football, you know, the cornerback. If he doesn't guard the wide receiver, he can get burned on a tu easy touchdown. Simple as that. So, those mistakes really were costing us early on. Uh, Colorado took full advantage of our early on mistakes in every period. And they scored. They scored first in every period. Let's, let's remember that. With it, pretty much within the first two minutes. And it looked like this was the same old Sharks we'd be seeing. I mean, they were, they were playing boring, uninspired hockey in the first period. They finally earned a goal near the end. Uh, that was something to get that one by Manny Malhotra. It was also cool how the Sharks actually scored in the final minute of every period. Uh, you know, all I can say is it's about time. It's better late than never. And that goal by Pavelski really, like, wow, very fitting that they were able to come back in each period and keep it tied. They did not give up this, this series. Uh, a lot of shots were on goal, and Craig Anderson carried the team. And uh, I got to give props to Craig Anderson. He played, he played lights out. And this young Colorado team is hustling. They're really going for the, the puck harder than the Sharks were, even though we were out shooting them. They they still were hustling hard. And uh, some of the shots on goal the Sharks had weren't even that good of shots. They just count toward the box score, but it wasn't even that big of a deal. Sharks' penalty killing was very key. That that probably was a big factor, or even why somehow the Sharks were able to hang in this game when they should have been losing by more in the goal section. They didn't allow many shots on goal during the power power plays. Also, the Sharks, of course, did capitalize on the power play. They they were at a lot of shots on goal. That high-powered offense was coming back, and this was a Jekyll and Hyde team. There were times they would show up, and times they wouldn't show up. We would see clumsiness with the puck. And the thing that frustrates me right now is that the big three, referring to Danny Heatley, Joe Thornton, and uh, Patrick Marlowe, all three of them haven't been con contributing much. You know, there was an assist by uh, Thornton, I know. I know they're, they're trying, but Patrick Marlowe has not been able to hand. He can't handle passes very well right now. And it's very frustrating to watch how the third line and the fourth lines are producing much more. We need all these guys to play as hard as Scott Nickel did tonight. Very productive goal there by Nickel to push it in in the final seconds. Uh, so very thrilling win just to see them score near the end of each period and to come back. But we got to move on to Colorado, keep this momentum. Now, as the it goes out to the Pepsi Center, we'll find out what happens. I'd rather separate the big three just so the. Uh, just so uh, there's a balance on the second line. 
And sometimes I bit, the big three have been countered together. Maybe we need to mix it up there, in my opinion. That's what I think. Let me know what you all thought of the game. But Great win. Let's go Sharks. We'll see how they play for the rest of the series. We'll see you all later.